Okay, let's get right into the stock market technical analysis. Obviously, we have big things happening. And so I want to point out the key levels to watch on the markets. And again, we called this short, you know, pretty much perfectly. If you go back and watch my last few videos, I've talked about how, um, you know, I think the top is in for the bull market. And I don't see any change in that. Now, the Fed is coming out on Wednesday. And we need to really pay attention to that because, again, <clears throat> The market is selling off into the Fed, and it's very unlikely, low probability, that the Fed is going to come out hawkish and smash the market down after the, it's already dropped as much as it has, as quickly as it has. If they do that, the market's going to crash, and we're going to have all kinds of major problems, hedge funds blowing up, and, and just major problems. So I, I think it's very unlikely. I think the Fed is going to come out dovish. They're going to walk back some of their hawkish rhetoric. And again, we're going to get a bear market rally or, you know, we're going to get a rally I, I'm expecting in uh, in the Fed meeting. So I think it's likely the Fed's still going to hike rates, but they're going to walk back some of their some of their future, uh, you know, future hikes or maybe the the roll off of the balance sheet. They're going to do something to come out dovish. So I think we're going to I think it's very likely we've just seen the bottom in this most recent sell off in the spy and the queues and you know, likely you're going to see some buying into the Fed. That's that's my uh, that's where I think things are going. On the SPY, we have some support, and it's really right here at about 420. It's uh, it's about 425, 35. We're just slightly under it right now, but you can see they're starting to buy it right now. I, I think we're probably going to hold this today and rally. So what I would look for probably into the end of the week is a rally up into this gap fill level and probably the 200 day moving average. So I would say we're likely going to rally up to about 437.88 and probably up to the 200 day, which is about 442. Both of those levels, I would, I think are good areas to reshort the market or, you know, if you haven't been short, you know, that's probably an opportunity on that kickback. Again, as far as I can tell, We've ent we're entering into a bear market and it is going to be a sell the rip market. So, you know, this rally is an opportunity to, to short, you know, to short the market. We're going to follow the slope of hope. Okay, so that's key levels to watch. If you look at the RSI also, we're, we're down at 20, you know, we're extremely oversold. So as, as I scroll out, you can see that basically we haven't been this oversold except, except for the COVID drop. So the COVID drop got us that, that oversold and we're that oversold right now. So extremely oversold, likely going to see some sort of a rally. This is not the time or area you want to get short. Again, we talk about getting short. When the market's rallying and everybody's bullish, I start seeing signs of shorting and that's when I get short. Now that the market's plunged and we're just you know heading straight down, this is not when you want to get short, okay? Going to the queues. Q's, we've got some support. We've kind of undercut it so far, but we've got some support right here at four, uh, 342.50. And, you know, there's a little gap that was right here, but right in this area of support, I think we're probably going to hold right here and rally. There's a gap to fill. So as I zoom in, uh, let's go to the hourly chart just to kind of highlight that. Uh, on the hourly chart, you can see we've got this gap to fill uh, right up here now up at 351. So I think we're going to fill that gap and we all we could rally all the way up to the 200 day moving average 36550. All right, a, a move into the 200 day moving average is probably the perfect entry to short. I don't know if we'll get it up that high, but also up at 360 there's a level. So each one of these levels I think makes sense to probably <clears throat> from my opinion uh, to, to short the market. But it does look like we're, it's very probable right now that we're gonna have some sort of a rally and I expect this rally to be pretty impulsive and sharp, okay? Because a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people are late to the short game. They're st they wanna short now. Well, they're gonna get they're gonna get squeezed out and probably have to cover. So I'm, I've actually flipped, uh, I, have a, I have a triple Q's long position, a good size position. I'm kind, kind of fully long. And I'm looking to ride up that rally and then flip back short on the bounce. Now, if you're a longer term trader and you just you can't you know move around with the gyrations, then I think over time we are going to continue lower. Okay, in the next months, you know, or so 
we will be lower, but doesn't mean we're going to, you know, it, it's very probable as we follow the slope of hope, we're going to have pretty sharp bear, bear market rallies. So we're going to drop and then rally pretty sharply and then continue the drop and rally. So you have to be able to, you have to be able to ride those out. So that's the only thing that I'm uh, for longer term traders, you know, looking to just set a, a swing position and just set it and forget it. I think we'll be lower, but you know, doesn't mean we won't have some pretty monstrous rallies along the way. Because the biggest rallies come in bear markets. So understand that. The biggest and sharpest rallies always come in the bear in bear markets. Small caps, IWM. We hit our first point, our first area that I expect us to have a small reaction, and it's right there at 193.23. So I had that marked out. That was your previous reaction area. And there we are right there. So again, likely gonna rally here, maybe up to 205. 20490 205 possibly even up to 209 again each one of these areas are opportunities to short so that's where I'd be looking to flip you know back to my short position I'm not short I'm not long this one I I just went long triple Qs but again these are areas of resistance where we should uh, get rejected the only caveat I want to put against the you know the fact that I think we are going to continue lower over the longer term is if the Fed comes out on Wednesday and completely does a 180 and gets spooked off of their hiking cycle and they say that they're going to be patient and not hike and kind of the same thing that we saw in 2018 then you know we're going to have to we're going to have to possibly reevaluate because the fed might not be willing to let the market just completely go into a bear market and they'd rather just inflate and continue to pump money and continue to keep rates low that's a possibility i don't think it's a high probability but it there is there is a chance there so Again, I think we rally into the Fed and then we'll wait and see. I think they're going to come out dovish, but they're not going to back off their rate hikes. That's the highest probability, I believe. And gold, okay, gold's hold, hanging in there, guys. So again, gold, I think, is anticipating the Fed coming out dovish. We're kind of flagging. We're just at that 1837. Gold's actually a slightly higher today. Again, I'm looking for that pop. Now, the miners are down, but again, they're just the miners are just getting sold kind of basically just programmatically while gold is still hanging in there. So the miners should bounce back. If gold can hang in there and continue to rally, the miners should bounce back and bounce back pretty sharply. Okay, I'm gonna do, go really quick through some of these individual trade ideas and I'm gonna wrap up, try to get this video out as quickly as I can because it does look like the market's starting to rally. C's slightly at the 200 day moving average, just barely undercut it. Okay, we're probably gonna bounce here. Uh, you know, maybe even a bounce all the way up to this trend line at 64, 64. But again, bigger picture, trend line's been broken here on the daily chart we broke. So any kind of rallies I think are opportunities to add to shorts. I'm gonna stick with this one and just ride out a counter trend bounce, look, looking for more downside. Support level, to first profit target, 46.44. AVGO, tag the 200 day moving average right there. We're likely gonna bounce. Minimum bounce target, 546.40, uh, and potentially even a gap fill all the way up here to 607, right in that area. So that's the opportunity to the short you know, you could take a starting short maybe right there, but I think we probably, if we're going to get a good rally, we'd probably rally all the way up to this level. And that's going to be your ample, your best positioning for a short. So I still like that one. I'm not in this one anymore. I did cover my short position and took profit, but if we rally up there, I would look to reshort it. GME GameStop. I'm still short this. So I'm sticking, staying short on this one. This one has likely a very slim chance of rallying. Uh, this is a retail meme stock where the momentum was pretty much all on the retail side. Retail is getting murdered out right now. So basically, you know, I just don't think this is going to have, I think this likely could just continue to sell off down to our $45, $46 profit target. Um, so far, this thing's been very profitable. Uh, we, you know, I shorted it basically right in here on the sixth and from there we're profitable by about 36 percent and continuing to look good forward gap down today and broke its upward trend line so again on the daily chart you've got support all through here see these support lines there's one uh tags right in here there's another and today broke and sell signal now we're at this support line you can see the support shelf right here that it held previously and we fell right to that and we're holding so any kind of bounce into this trend line is an opportunity to short the thing. We do have a sell signal right now, so you could take it short here, but you know, I 
if we get a little bounce, maybe that's a better position. In general, I think it's a good spot to, to short it, but I it, and even better up there at you know 20, 85 or so. Again, um, I like this one for more downside. Tesla, Tesla broke its upward. Tesla has a sell signal as well. Here's the upward trend line on the daily chart there. They, um, not really a negative divergence though, but it did gap down uh, below pretty much all support. And yeah, I think this one's got a good ways to go. At a minimum, this likely won't see a bounce till it hits the 200 day move, moving average at about 813. So I think that's gonna come down into that area. And and then there's some good support right there at 782. So that would be an area where I'd likely expect a bounce. Baba, Baba gap down below our trend line. And so far we're, da we're below it. So we'll see how the day closes. That would be kind of a tell. Um, if we can't really get back above this 120.80, then I'd probably just stop out if you're long and uh, just you know move on. Uh, but if it does, if it is able to rally and close the day above that, then this is basically support, and we should continue to rally higher from here. So we'll see how that one plays out. But those are the levels on that one. Qualcomm continuing to move lower. I don't see any real reason to get to 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 get out of this one. So I'm still short on this one again we're just moving down we got gap fill and the 200 day down below so again we're probably going to run down and hit the 200 and kind of chop around here but again profit target on this one is at a minimum 139 i still like it remaining short lift uh lift is basically at gap entry right here at uh 3485 so again this has been a long-term target for me on lift uh, and I've talked about us filling this gap for a while. Gap fill is 31.88. We're now at gap entry. I think we got a little bit more to go to the downside. I do believe we're going to enter this gap and make our way down to fill the gap. And I'm going to cover the trade right there, my short position. So still profitable. Everything looks great. I mean, again, I got short for a second time right up in here. So the trade is profitable by about 24% so far. A little bit more to go and we'll cover it. Um, I'm looking at about 33 bucks to cover this thing. So we'll see if we get there today. Eli Lilly, LLY, um, falling down to the 200 day moving average right now. Uh, we're below it. We're probably going to hold and, and get a small bounce here. I still like it as a short trade. I'm going to stick with it on this one. Again, we just broke the trend line on the daily chart right here. Uh, clean negative divergence. So the, you know, the initial tag of the 200 is likely going to give us a little bounce, but I think that bounce will get sold into uh, and then we'll continue to move down. So profit target 218.57 and, you know, potentially down here at 169.55. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here and get the video out. Guys, leave me a thumbs up and check out the stock market technical analysis course if you have a chance. Link in the description below. Bye.